So, Regine and Armand attended a pre-Grammy event last night. Now, Armand did go on to Twitter immediately after and stated, It's no better love than what a young N-word feel right now. This girl love me so grown. Ladies know what I mean. Now, Lil Wayne was actually honored last night at this event. So, good to see Armand there next to his girl and her dad. Anyways, let me know your opinions on that down in the comment section below. So now I do want to speak on this next situation with Kamari. Now there is an Instagram page claiming to be her and they have over 111 thousand followers now, this page has been posting things like for me and Julia video click the link download the app play for two minutes the video show up right after now supposedly there is a video of Kamari and Julia fighting but this is just a way for someone to make money off people downloading this app now the thing that made this page seem believable at first is CJ's mom which is Kamari's grandma is actually following this page now, I'm sure this was sent to Nike and Nike went on to Instagram and stated y'all gotta be slow like slow as F my daughter got one Instagram page and it's at not Mari if y'all see any other page it's fake goofy as hell on this app I swear to God then she also states and yes Kamari had two pages and one I tagged is the one she has access to and the other one she made is banned for the ones in the back that need to know everything this is actually Kamari's real page not that other page that has over 111,000 followers and is claiming to have a fight of her and Jalea I do want to speak on this situation with Joelle now if you guys watched a previous video that I posted on this topic then you know Lauren exposed Joelle for allegedly cheating again with Asia well Joelle went onto Instagram and stated that he was delivered again now this time he actually posted a video of himself being delivered all right y'all so I know I said this before but um I can't do no more gold digger pranks y'all I'm done I'm officially done out the game um your boy got delivered. You know, I watch a lot of videos on the internet seeing people get demons cast out of them. I had 20 demons cast out of me today. I have a 19 minute video. I don't even know when to post it. It's not a game. I wasn't acting. My, I was getting demons of fear, neglect, and all type of stuff. And I, I didn't remember it. You know, and, and Lauren was here to record it. Oh, uh, the demon tried to destroy my marriage. You know, so I'm not doing no more gold digger pranks, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna be doing something else for a more positive light. I don't know. More than likely, probably basketball. I love basketball, but yeah, man, God is real. Jesus is real. I'm gonna post a one minute clip, and I wasn't acting. Now, he did post this clip of him being delivered. Now, it is a bit disturbing, so I'm not going to post it in this video. If you guys do want to see that, I will link it down in the comment section and in the description box. And you guys could go over to Twitter if you do want to watch it. Definitely not forcing anyone to go over there and watch it because things did get a little bit crazy. But anyways, I do want to speak on this next topic with Neek in this situation with Mulan. Mulan. So Mulan did go on to Instagram live and she spoke on this situation with Neek basically stating that she is going to be dropping a YouTube video on it. So hopefully at that point we get the receipts that they're claiming they have or they just completely be done with this whole topic. So I'm going to post the live here but you guys let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Is it giving clout now that she's stating that she's going to make a YouTube video on it? Let me know your opinions on that and I do want to thank you guys for staying with me I am a bit congested today so please excuse if I sound a little bit stuffy my just, damn my dress design just got here I gotta get off mind you I will be doing um a YouTube video about everything that's been going on not only about the bullshit but about the stalker because I can't speak too much on it because I'm suing three different companies for the situation, but yeah, just know life is 
real. And you need to appreciate every day you have because a random person stalked me and just got into my house, damn near, and got to my door. And I thought I was safe because I pay so much money to live where I live. And we have, you know, um, a, um, what is it called? What they called? Kept calling him. Because he lives, we have like two offices that live in our building. Can you take these rings off of me? But I'm just happy that my security was here and I'm alive. Because my security was about to leave because the officer told him it was okay for him to go. And if he would have listened, I would have opened the door and I probably would have been dead. So. Please, everybody stay safe. And I mean, there was really nothing I could do. I already made a police report about the harassment. And then out of nowhere, he rang my doorbell. So yeah, especially after all the stuff that happened to me on my birthday, that was a really crazy, cause I live on the top level of the building and you have to use you know, a cove, I mean, a um, fob to get in the building, up any elevator, up any entrance. So it was like really a scare for me, especially because he was taking videos, roaming the halls, and recording himself, tagging me in it. A stranger I'd never met, a random person. And I live in one of the safest supposed to be safest because it's the highest I pay the most damn near buildings but hey mental health is pretty bad but I'm working on it double double triple therapy more than usual I had to get some insomnia medicine because I couldn't sleep every time I close my eyes I have a nightmare legit but it doesn't get any worse than this so only can be up from here. I, yeah. I just have my dress designers here, so I'll talk to you guys later.